All right, for Halloween, we are making the Jack-O-Lantern Punch. This is a cocktail you can make, obviously, just in one glass, uh, and we'll also include the recipe proportions to make it into a giant punch if you're having a giant's fun, you know, costume party dressed as, like, things, not like a guy in a flannel shirt like me. Take four sugar cubes, bottom of your glass, and two tiny itsy bitsy cloves. Put those in, and we're gonna do one ounce of the club soda. Grab your fun, handy dandy muddler stick, and just get a little pound initially. Get that, that sugar mixed in with that club soda, and then once you feel it give, really start to give it a nice little grind. Get in there. The rum we're using today is an aged rum. This is from Montezulum. It's a 15 year old rum. It does not need to be 15 years old. We are looking for some kind of aged rum. It's gonna have like a more uh, oakiness and some vanilla flavoring from being aged in the cask. Uh, so you could definitely want a darker aged rum. Again, it doesn't have to be 15 years, it doesn't have to be 15 years, but somewhere in the seven, eight year range for the rum. Uh, if you don't have that, can't find that, don't want to spend the money on that, any kind of dark rum will work just fine in this cocktail. For two ounces of rum, for two ounces of apple juice, one ounce of lemon juice. It's already filled with ice. I'm gonna slowly, carefully pour all this in. Cap it nice and strong, and shake it up. My empty tumbler glass. In the bottom, I'm going to drop a slice of apple, and then pour over the top. The rest of my club soda will cap this puppy off. Take a few pumpkin seeds, sprinkle them in there. And a cinnamon stick, Got a little swirl, and there we go.